the importance of embracing the biblical narrative for Israel. Like people say, I'm for Israel, I'm not for Israel. My church didn't do Israel. I go, that's not really the best way to say it. I'm not for Israel or against Israel or this Israel. I'm for the biblical narrative of Israel. Because there's about five other narratives out there related to Israel. And if you only are for Israel, you may be caught into any side narrative that isn't biblical. Because everybody that's for Israel isn't for the biblical narrative of Israel. So that seems like a little technical, but it's just a heads up. You want to catch that nuance. The biblical narrative, meaning the biblical story of Israel, not just love for Israel. I know a lot of Gentiles that got so excited about Israel, they like every narrative of Israel. Israel does no wrong. That's not the biblical testimony. It's very different. Israel does a lot of wrong, but God won't give up on him because of his mercy. And that's the story of the Gentile church as well. It's not that we do no wrong, it's that we do lots of wrong, but he won't give up on us. It's the story of God's heart.